top players very, very similar in and around impact. And by understanding exactly where these positions are, thanks to people like Dr. Robert Neal, who's analyzed 550 PGA professionals, there's 13 degrees of Schaefer with Schäufler. Look at the right leg where it's moved to. We can get in there. This is what we're showing on world-class golf instruction, the averages of movement. And they're not all swinging different. That's, you know, they're all swinging just about the same as we can see from these positions here. Now, what you're looking at really doing is when you draw a line up, this is the wall, all right? Now you'll get an idea here of half the lead leg moving through the wall and getting into impact. The club players are having real issues with this. And uh, let's have a peek here. We're seeing a lot of the time it's set up. It's also a lot of the time, no movement, just being too far away from the wall and, you know, practicing hard, you know, and giving their all but just coming down to impact with little to no shaft lean, no movement through the wall. And from there, you can practice as much as you want. You're just not gonna get there. The right leg's often stationary. And so guys, you know, by looking at this blueprint of getting ourselves in the right position, it just makes it so much easier. Let's have a look at some of the things that we can do. Obviously we show you a lot of this on world-class golf instruction, but let's have a look at some of the things that we can do to improve our ball striking immediately. If you are new to my channel, have a, consider subscribing. Uh, we're reaching a lot, a lot, a lot of people out there, and we're working really with evidence-based instruction uh, rather than the magic wand. You know, we're looking at uh, really helping people with uh, great information. So, guys, let's get stuck into this video, and I'm going to show you how you can improve your ball striking immediately. So, solid contact. Just getting solid contact consistently over 18 holes. It just, you know, just hitting it clean it's just such an important part of the game let's have a look at how we can get better contact get better ball and ground contact here first off you know when you're looking at the masses of the people out there getting yourself set up with a little bit more weight on your left foot left leg you know getting the shaft and one line shaft and left arm in one line this is really getting us closer to the position where we need to be now we need to have you know some lateral shift and we need the body opening for a lot of people out there if we get ourselves set up in a great place at the start just by leaning this shaft over now we have you know around 12 degrees of shaft lean at impact in your address position someone like a McElroy you can get around 10 at the start by really getting the hands further forwards on the inside of this lead thigh now what we need from there is a little bit of a push forwards a little bit of lateral shift and some opening so we can get this right knee to cover the ball you know getting the the left side to you know clear and extend a little bit and getting ourselves to move forwards so assuring that we're getting ourselves set up 60% we're feeling a little bit more pressure on that left foot you know getting ourselves set up with the hands a little bit forwards you can keep yourself centered from here you're going to come back down in the impact get that right knee to cover the golf ball you're going to get yourself much more solid contact ball ground basic clear simple but really really effective So guys, right, the first thing that we're looking at here with uh, this drill is to create separation so that we can get lateral shift and opening up separation from your bottom half to your top half before we move on to some other exercises. We're going to have a look here at the right leg, the ankle work, the knee work, where we're seeing a lot of the amateur players really in an, a position where the right knee is quite high from the angle, from the knee to the ankle into the high 70 degree area. And what I'm looking at doing is getting a little bit more lateral shift by getting the knee or the right knee to the golf ball getting some separation we're going to have a look at two little feels here one of the drills you can simply do is get to the top and get your sequence right get the timing right is get to the top and when you've got a finish line is get that right knee to the finish line before your hands do and this is going to help you get yourself to open up. Now, I don't want the right knee kicking towards the ball. We want the right knee working towards the left. We're going to get that right foot to roll in a little bit like this. And this is a great way to get separation. That right leg, that right knee, getting that to move effectively frees up your entire swing. So, hi everybody. Let's have a look at a bit of a tip here for a bit of sequence. Uh, help you guys with your impact position. Also help you with a bit of a bit of timing and getting the speed of the club to, to match the speed of the body a little bit better. So I've got my little clicker thing here. 
All right, so I'm going to stand on this thing. Now, a lot of people can't do this. But I'll show you a couple of ways you do it. So I stand on it, and what I'm going to try and do is when the club touches the ground, we're going to get the click and the club on the ground at the same time. So they're actually creating this sequence of the, the shaft and the right knee coming in together at impact. Alright, there's another way to look at this, you know, because I'm seeing a lot of people, when I get a lot of people to do this, this is how they do it. Actually, some guys do it, the, the click comes in the clubhouse, you know, on the 19th hole, half an hour later. But you, you really want to have a look at this. There's another way of doing it, because you're trying to get this, this effect that when my first boss used to tell us that, David Armstrong, a wonderful hitter of the golf ball, and played in a few British Opens and won a lot of tournaments. He used to get us to get the right hand and the right leg and just slap it on the way through, click the fingers, and then you can get this timing at impact. And that's going to get you to cover the ball. It gets the hips moving. It gets some separation from your bottom half to your top half. It's a basic thought. It's something that you can actually take out there. Right hand, <coughs> excuse me, right hand, right leg. Right hand, right foot. Right hand, right knee. And get that timing and that sequence matched up at the bottom of your swing. So people, when we're looking at uh, great players with not a lot of lag in the downswing, we're seeing someone like Jimenez and Tom Watson, wonderful ball strikers. What we see at uh, impact, you know, we're still seeing here around 16 degrees of shaft lean from Jimenez. What we're seeing at impact is three quarters of the lead leg through the wall. So if you are a player that tends to struggle with, you know, big angles or you're flipping it, you're fatting it and you're thinning it, you want to be having a look at this lateral movement. Now, obviously, you know, world-class golf instruction, we're showing you great things. You know, the hips are going to be up between 30 to 55 degrees, your torso is somewhere around 25 to 35 degrees. There, the average is, you know, you don't have to be that far open, but we're not trying to sort of uh, sell you here, not opening up your body. In fact, when you start to move laterally, you combine it with an opening up. And what we're going to be looking at there is really closing up the gap between your knees. And uh, really, when we're taking a look at uh, certain angles when we're filming our swings, we can get some. Really get some great information. Jason Day from the back. You see that the lead leg remains bent, and when it's bent, it'll tend to move further forwards, transferring your weight and your low point and getting your shaft lean across Dodge Kemmer here. And we have a, a bit of an understanding of this lead leg, you know, and where it is coming into impact. What happens after that is they close up the gap with the knees, and there's a slight arching in the back. Now, when we're having a look, you know, often at the club player, we're seeing literally no lateral movement towards the target. And uh, because of that, we're seeing really also after impact here, you know, huge gaps between the knees. And they're all doing it. I mean, if you can improve it, it's good to concentrate and focus on one thing and, and get it out of the way and just get one of the major characteristics that's correct, you know, into your action rather than flipping it. We can see how dangerously it's so hard to repeat when we've got no shaft lean at all. The club's already, you know, on the ground and we're just seeing it time and time again. People are told that they have to turn their hips and they're sitting back and spinning. And, you know, a lot of the information now, that even with, you know, when we're looking at better players, sometimes they're getting close to it and probably getting a five degrees of shaft lean or six degrees or somewhere around there. But still, you know, if they were going to move and get three quarters of that lead leg and a little bit in this direction, they'd easily get the 10 degrees and uh, have a much better time. Let's have a look now at some great drills and ways that we can feel it because when we're moving into these positions, we still want to have, you know, a little bit of an arching of the back. We don't want the whole head moving forwards. We do need some separation here. And that is also a way to hit the ball better from the inside. Let's take a peek. Now. World class golf instructor is improving golfers between 4 and 11 shots. Your swing analyst video is the same as this YouTube format, except with your swing on the screen. It goes between 15 to 30 minutes with tailored drills and exercises, a higher level of instruction at a cheaper price. 1,300 videos, 75 separate series. Reach out to us in the chat room and get on the path of playing your best golf.
So guys, creating this separation, one of the most important elements really for, the, for a great goal swing is this separation, this lateral movement and uh, not getting the top half to go too far over. Have a look at Dodge Kemmer here from California, Asian tour player. You see he's just doing a pre-set drill. He says what he does here is the foot comes a little bit off the side, he gets the shaft lean over and he gets a feeling of the hip, the top of the hip moving forwards and he says he looks down at it and gets that picture in his head sort of presets it, and then gets in there and then gives it a hit. And it really is a wonderful goal swing, isn't it? This through the ball, it's just so pure. Now when you see this right arm parallel to the ground here, if you're using the V1 app, I think this is great. Drawing a line down here from the back, it just gives you a gauge of separation. Now if this is just, you know, on the outside of the foot or slightly on this side of your foot, you know you're keeping your top half back. If it gets too straight, this line, and you know that the top half of your head's moving too far forwards. You know, just getting yourself in a good finish position here, people, really with the belt buckle, you know, still in front of the chest, you'll get a bit of a curve here. And this is how you get separation ball after ball. This is one of the videos in World Class Golf Instruction. We've got uh, a whole area on separation and lateral shift. And I've just put a driver shaft into the ground here, about a fist width away and just talking about what happens when it turns and that right hip comes out and the right shoulder comes with it, nasty stuff. All right, and we're just sort of getting in there and, you know, over-exaggerating the drill a little bit. You can see the big bump forwards and, uh, you know, through the ball and the arms around parallel to the ground here. You get a similar effect here, you know, up into a finished position.